So what's up guys, um, I can't really see me the, the wheels car in my face right now. Um, I just, I, I wanted to make this quick video, maybe like, maybe two minutes long. I just, I, I wanted to talk about, cause I just had an idea right now, um, it's actually gonna be like a quick video. Basically, I just wanted to talk about why I couldn't get a Tesla at age 21. Cause, um, I think back in like, like around June or July, I, I remember I even made a video, um, I think about my exhaust, but I think in that video, I remember I mentioned that I was gonna get a Tesla. Basically, I didn't even end up getting it. Well, it's obvious right now, but like I didn't end up getting a Tesla. And like, I, I kinda, I wanna explain the reason why, basically, as to why I didn't get the Tesla. Um, but basically why I didn't get it is, is, is um, well, cause I thought I was gonna be able to afford it and stuff. Cause at the time I had like a steady ass job. Like I, I the job that I was at, I was at there. I was there for like a year and like a year and maybe two months about or a year and a month. And like, cause I wasn't planning on leaving the job at all. And so like basically I had already saved up like ten thousand dollars. So I was thinking, cause I was already gonna get a raise anyway. I think they gave us like a dollar raise. So I was thinking like, you know what, with the raise, I'll be able to afford the car basically because the, the payment for the car was gonna be between, I think like 500 or $600 a month, which is like, I, I, I could afford it basically. I, I mean, I'd probably be struggling like a little bit, but like basically like I could afford it. But um, I, I talked to some people about the car and then they're like, basically like, it might've been like a blessing in disguise because like basically it might have saved me from financial debt or something because like imagine like because i think for, i was working at a hotel i'm not gonna say which one i don't want to dock myself but um i was working at a hotel i think i'd probably make like each check would come out to about like no more than like like 1200 so i had to be making about two, two between two to, at most 2500 a month but um, like I have bills and stuff, like I ha I pay rent and all that, so I, I would probably barely have like money, like left over. I'd probably barely have money left over, like for myself, basically. Like most of my money would go between like like rent and then um, like not not even counting insurance, because I think insurance probably would have been like two to three hundred, or if not more. I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm estimating, but. So 600 plus the insurance would have ran me like six, like maybe almost a thousand. So I was telling people about it and then they were like, oh, well, um, maybe like it could have saved you from a financial crisis, basically, instead of like putting myself in debt, it's better just to actually like have it cash like that 40,000 or however much the Tesla is worth and just have it cash basically instead of financing it. Which, like, like I, I kind of had the mentality of just, like, getting a car, like, shut up cash, like, because I always had the mentality of, like, well, if you can't afford it, why am I going to finance it? Just wait till you have the money and then just buy it straight up. But, like, pardon me, like, I really wanted the Tesla, like, because, like, I, I didn't want to, like, be, like, well, also because I heard the Tesla, like, obviously, I guess it saves you money because you're not paying for gas. And the charger, at least as far as I heard, it's really cheap. And I think um, they were gonna give me either three or six months like free of supercharging, basically. But um, yeah, like basically they're telling me like it's good for me because I mean it would have put me in financial crisis or financial debt. But um, yeah, I guess just let let this be a lesson to anyone that wants to get like a new car and, and you think you can afford it. Don't don't, don't buy it. I guess just yeah, just don't buy it. Just wait until you've made it somewhat financially or like, yeah, you have like a decent amount of down payment. Cause I think for the down payment, they wanted between three and 5k. And like, I was literally gonna like, cause my whole plan was to like do, um, there's this app. It's like, like one of the food delivery apps basically. I was gonna do food delivery with the car. And that's like, that's one of the ways that I'm gonna try to pay off the car. But, um, but I don't, basically long story short, it didn't work out, but Basically, my point is, don't get something really if you can't afford it, or if you think you can afford it, don't get it. Just wait till you can actually afford it, where you live comfortably, and let's let's say the car is forty thousand, or like you want a t uh, Tesla or um, 
or a Hellcat or something, like, I wait till at least you have, like, double the income. Like, let's say if I, I'm not making 80k a year, but I'm showing, for example, let's say if I was making 80k a year, then, it was, I was like, then it's like, okay, I could buy the Tesla comfortably, I can just buy it straight up cash, save half of what I have for a year, and then, um, say half of what I have for a year, and then, um, basically use that towards the Tesla, and then for the other 40k, just, you know, just use that for my rent, or what, what, whatever BS it is, but, um, yeah, that's, that's all I mainly wanted to talk about, like, just for, as far as the Tesla goes, because, um, yeah, don't, don't get something if you think that it might put you in debt, or, or, or something along the lines of that, so, um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted, really wanted to talk about in the video, so, um, yeah, I ho hope you guys are having a good 2024 and stay focused on what you guys want to do for your goals and stuff, whether it be financial or your physical health or anything. Just stay focused on that. And um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, bye.